When it comes to macro photography, most of the time we stumble onto it. We buy a camera, we start photographing different genres of photography, and then we decide we like macro photography. That's exactly how it happened with me. I had my 650D before I even liked macro photography. I put some extension tubes onto a 50mm lens and found out I like macro photography. Now, because I was an amateur back then, when it came to getting a macro lens like this one from Laura, I stuck to Canon because I already had the cameras, I already had the uh, the lenses, the flashes that work with Canon. However, if you're new to photography or if you're in the market to buy a new camera, there is a particular camera system out there that is extremely good at macro photography. And I've gone and bought one. Now I did the sensible thing and I bought it second hand rather than getting the top of the line gear, you know, the latest, greatest thing that's out there. I've gone and bought second hand gear from MPB. I'm gonna do an unboxing of this camera and tell you my experience of shopping second hand with MPB. I ordered the bits, I ordered them on Sunday. It's now Tuesday and they are delivered. So it was next day delivery, went through flawlessly. Let's unbox it now and take a look at the things I've bought for the channel. Let's have a look. We have ourselves an Olympus camera. This is the EM1 Mark II. It's a uh, it's fairly old camera. It's probably as old as my Canon, but it has some features that my Canon doesn't, which I will get to in a minute. And I also have the 60 millimeter macro lens from Olympus as well. The flash I bought from Godox, and they've used what can only be described as hamster bedding to pack their <laughs> flash. Now, the problem I've got is this is my room, so I have to do the hoovering up, so I've got to be careful unboxing it. Now, I might take it downstairs and unbox it. Get stuck. On the plus side, it's not going to get damaged by the courier. There is a flash in here, I promise you. If you're ordering from Godox, make sure you open it outside. Well, there's the flash. That is the V350 from Godox. I also have a spare battery. I'm going to go ahead now. I'm going to unbox this, put the rig together, and I'm going to explain to you why I've purchased this camera for the YouTube channel. Let's start with the camera. So I have an EOS R. I'm a macro photographer and I have an EOS R. The EOS R is probably the only Canon RF mount camera that doesn't do focus bracketing. We've been waiting years for Canon to add focus bracketing to the EOS R via a firmware update. They're not doing it, so I need a new camera that does focus bracketing because I want to do more focus stacking on the channel. And I want to do manual focus stacking, I want to do automatic focus stacking, I want to do the whole lot so as I can bring you videos to show you how to do it via your preferred system, whether it's automatic or whether it's manual. So I had to get a new camera and the prices of Canon cameras are quite high. This whole bundle here cost me less than a Canon macro lens. Let that sink in. Wow. Okay, so I paid 385 pound for this camera. Oh my God. <laughs> they sent me a toy camera. It's like someone to get my daughter. <laughs> so MPB, they said that this camera was in good condition but has signs of rare. And you can see the signs of rare. There's a slight scratch on the cover of the LCD screen. The scuffs on the corners, which basically is exactly as MPB described. But it'll probably be in a lot worse condition by the time I finish with it. There you go. But that is the Olympus RMD EM1 Mark II. If you don't know, Olympus got rebranded recently to OM Systems. So I will probably refer to it as an OM Systems camera from now on. So um, like I said, it, it is, it's small. It is very small. It's borderline child toy camera small. Let's take a look at the lens. So this is the 60 millimeter. Look at the size of that lens. That's got to be at least three inches. That's massive. Hi. Three inches is not massive. You told me three inches was big. So uh, there's the lens. Apparently three inches is um, not very big. So it's a tiny lens. So um, yeah, that's a very small, very small camera. But there are other reasons why I'm having a go at a micro four thirds camera. I know it has focus bracketing. 
that is where the camera will adjust the focus ring to get a series of shots for focus stacking so i don't have to move the camera it has focus stacking built in the sensor is half the size of my canon sensor which results in a perceived two times magnification when the lens is one times this lens is one times it's on a micro four third sensor therefore it's a equivalent of a two times full frame setup so there's a massive difference between these two cameras my eos r system which is the full frame system weighs in at 2250 grams this one weighs in at 1050 it's considerably smaller it's lighter again it does focus stacking it does focus bracketing another knock-on effect with the sensor being half the size of the full frame sensor to get the same shot you're further back which results in a higher depth of field so as per single shot there's a higher depth of field on this camera than there is on the canon that's another good thing for us macro photographers downside of the micro four thirds sensor is it's not as good in low light but we're using flash so therefore that's a mute point the uh, the noise to iso ratio is nowhere near as good as my esr but again if we're using flash we can keep the iso at 200 which means that's another mute point so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead i'm going to set up this camera i'm going to set up a scene with my jumper spider and i'm going to give you my first impressions of this system in a studio environment i'm going to be using the same diffuser on this camera i might have to hold it because it's not designed for this camera but i do have a cygnus tech diffuser on the way from cygnus tech brendan has been kind enough to send me one over for review so as soon as that comes we'll put it all together and we'll start doing some outdoor work with this system but let's get this scene set up with my jumper spider and let's get some shots done on this camera for now i've just makeshifted a crafty bells diffuser on the front i brought out the little bounce card on the flash to help bounce it into that diffuser so what i'm going to do is because we've already photographed this jump i'm going to get Get him out get him settled down we'll skip to that part when i'm about to do the actual photography i'm not used to holding a camera with one hand <laughs> he's covered in pollen <laughs> there is more depth of field with this camera and i'm loving that that is really good so what i want to do now is i want to try and set up a focus stack focus bracketing on and we're going to turn on the focus stacking I'm going to leave the set focus differential to 5. I haven't tested this, so I don't know what the good setting is for this camera yet. But we will definitely check that out and come up with some good settings. We've got a number of shots 15. This is one of the reasons I bought this camera is the auto focus stacking and auto bracketing. Something my ESR cannot do. Uh, you saw me in... Um, one of the previous videos with this spider where I did a 12 image stack. That took a considerable amount of time to do. So I have to take a picture, move forward, take a picture, move forward. This will do it automatically. And I'll be very interested to see how long it's going to take to get these 15 shots. Well, there's one stack. So it has moved a little bit, unfortunately. Very impressive, nonetheless. Automatic stacking. Oh, he moved. That one's no good. <laughs> You can see there, perfect example of what happens when the subject moves during a focus stack. You get some sort of weird hybrid type of creature. So that is quite impressive um, for such a small toy camera. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to my focus bracketing again. So we're going to turn off the auto bracketing because what I want to do is just take maybe more than 15 shots if necessary. An advantage of uh, focus bracketing rather than the actual stacking is even if you're going for a single shot, you've got more chance of nailing that shot that's in focus on the eye because you're going through a whole series of focused points. So we're going to do some auto focus bracketing and then stack it manually in the computer afterwards. And there we go so we've done a single shot we've done a 15 shot in camera focus stack and we've just done a 25 shot focus bracket image so what i'm going to do now is instead of boring you with all this video i'm going to go ahead and photograph my other jumping spiders and i'll show you those images now in all my excitement of testing out this new camera my jumping spiders i completely forgot to record my final conclusions 
Simply put, I absolutely love this camera. The light weight, the depth of field, the focus stacking and bracketing. I absolutely love it and I can't wait to get hold of Cygnus Tech Diffuser and take this camera outside. I absolutely love it and I do not regret selling my old Canon lenses in order to buy this new camera. In the next video I'll be taking the EM1 Mark II out in the field for some outdoor macro photography. Subscribe if you're looking forward to that video. So there we go, that is my new camera, my new old camera. This is the OMD EM1 Mark II from Olympus or OM Systems as they are known now. In the next video, I'm gonna take this camera out into the field for a real world review of this camera. So subscribe if you're looking forward to that one. But that's where I shall leave this video. My name's Stuart Wood. I wanna thank you for getting to the end of this one and I'll see you on the next one. Got delivery for a DPD, trust me. Anyone who uses DPD, they box them very well. A plus for effort, it's not going to get damaged in the post by DPP. DPP, DPP, what's what it's called? PDP. DPD. 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 <laughs> Have you got somewhere I can put this shit? Which come to think of it, I didn't buy a spare battery for the camera, so that might bite me in the ass later on. Thank you for sticking to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please subscribe and click the like button. It really does help out the channel. I want to thank my Patreon supporters for their continued support in supporting me and this channel. If you're interested in joining Patreon, then check in the description below this video for a link to Patreon. If you want to continue watching my macro journey, then click one of the videos in front of you now.